नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इम्पोर्ट मेक इन इंडिया कैंपेन एंड टुडे इन दी सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इंटरनेशनल लॉजिस्टिक फंक्शन ओके सो इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरियस एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल लॉजिस्टिक ओके सो इन इंटरनेशनल लॉजिस्टिक द मूवमेंट ऑफ द गुड्स फ्रॉम सोर्सिंग टू द डेस्टिनेशन इज कवर्ड ओके so logistic activity that are related to the both sale and procurement include inventory management okay so here uh, the this logistic function is include only uh, not only the sale but also the procurement part also just like a, for the manufacturing of the shoes you need to arrange the raw materials okay so for the arrange um, for the procurement of the uh, raw materials you need to arrange the transportation and the handling and packaging and all the things so this is all the part of the logistic function okay so this is not only the sale part but also the procurement including inventory management okay material handling transportation management okay so material to be handled like a storing in the warehouses okay and packing and loading and unloading okay so this is also part of the logistic function okay then transportation management okay so bring uh, uh, raw material from warehouse to manufacturing locations okay so warehouse and distribution center management okay distribution center means after the uh, ready finished good this finished good need to be distributed so this need to be uh, delivered to the distribute center means that's like a your product is ready then uh, your shoes is ready for example and you have to deliver this shoes to europe okay the manufacturing from india and you need to deliver this europe so what you will do first you need to decide the distribution center in the europe okay respective location wise okay then you need to transport this shoes to that different different distribution center okay then return product okay so after using that product is damage or all the thing then uh, they will return this but in international in mostly cases they will not return just uh, uh, you know that uh, on the complaint they will uh, refund the money just like because that if sometime what happen if you export some goods from india to europe okay in such case just for example you have uh, export the one container of the shoes okay sport shoes then they receive in the europe distribution center okay then they found some shoes are not okay then what you will do they what they, they will try to do they will re, just return it but the cost of returning is the more expensive than the uh, cost of goods so to keeping this point in the mind just uh, complaint of the customer the company will refund the money or uh, send in the next order okay next is uh, salvage scrap disposal okay so whatever uh, disp uh, scrap is uh, wastage in the in the factory they they need to use reuse that okay reuse or we can say save not throw it out okay inter plant moment okay inter plant moments means that uh, there are uh, for example there are 10 10 factories in india okay so sometime in one plant the raw material is not available and supplier raw material is in inventory is not available then what they will do they transfer the raw material from one unit to another unit okay then plant and warehouse site selections okay so you need to understand that uh, the plant site need to be select okay at which location plant uh, should be uh, set up okay so this sites need to selection in the keeping mind of the availability of the infrastructures okay by like, like a road and other facilities for the factory then all logistic function today are assist by information system as well okay so nowadays you know the system assist by means system is managed by only the information technology okay and um, many firm consider that information system related to logistic function are 
Tension is the part of logistic management. Okay, some company also include the this uh, functionality of the information technology or information system is the logistic function. Okay, so you know this is the fun functions are very very important function which we are understanding. The various separate logistic activity listed will be discussed, but one should realize that they must be planned and executed in the coordination with each other and with functionals from the supply from the supply okay okay so here we will discuss this activity one by one but these activities must be planned in execution and coordination with each other okay this one single person cannot be do these activities this activity is integrated with the whole department okay so in firm from supply chain In firm supply chain, these activities are totally interdependent with one te team to another team, one person to another person. Okay, so logistic uh, in present, in present, the idea of cost trade off is logistic manager by may pay more for one, one element of service in order to save even longer amount of the different element. Okay, so uh, here they, they, they are giving a uh, the idea of trade cost trade off where the uh, availability of the any product uh, which is lower than existing okay so they will choose that one and implement okay so trade off concept to be used in such way that process implementation is done in right way so these are the separate listed we will discuss one by one planning function location selection supplier selection supply controlling and scheduling okay so at initial level what you need you must uh, you set up the factory okay for that set of factory production level what you do uh, your first priority to select the locations then sub, uh, supplier selection okay and then supplier contracting schedule okay when will he provide the material okay a base store of inventory availabilities they will provide okay so in the supplier selection the negotiations part come so the we will cover this in the uh, next session that how the negotiation will be done point number two equipments and supply selection allocation sequence positioning inventory control and reordering repair so here you need to uh, Check out what kind of um, equipments are needed in the factory. You need to bring this, uh, or we can say, uh, you need to arrange the these equipments. Okay, so equipment selection in the right way. Then allocation. You need to place this equipment in the right right place. Then sequencing. Okay, arrange in the sequencing that next process will be done automatically. Not that. You need to change the location of the product. Okay, the entire line should be done in right way. That one step done, then next step. Okay, so in such a step, what happened? The process done immediately because that connectivity is uh, set up. Connectivity is set up in such way that they function rightly. Like a at uh, at first point, they arrange the raw material. Then what the next step? This material will Manufacturing and, and we're gonna next step, then third step. So these are the line process. Okay, so you arrange these in the, allocate in the sequence. Okay, then positioning. Okay, positioning means that equipment is the position in the right way that can be performed correctly. Like a and the person who will uh, handle the uh, manufacturing process there, or we can say that uh, uh, working on the line, he he needs some space to balance him and arranging the functional so not not that keep in mind that the uh, space availability also required for that person who will handle the line then inventory control and uh, ordering and repairing okay so these are the basic function need to understand okay so in case we can say inventory control is that we know as per requirement of the raw material need to arrange the inventory for the manufacturing process reordering if the inventory finished then you can order for the replenishment 
and repairs okay now term uh, point number three terminal function gate check and control location control okay nowadays you know the the shipment is tracked uh, correctly in real time locations by that you can intimate to customer that or where is the order status okay the customer directly can also do the same so terminal functional gate check and location control now phone number one is Handling function and pickup. Okay, the consolidation, distribution, expanding, expanding, diversion, and trans uh, transloading. Okay, these function are also important function. In this function, handling is the main part. In handling, you need to pick up the goods from the location of the supplier, then consolidate this. Product okay. For example, there are various kind of uh, component to be to be used in the manufacturing process. So what you will do first? Component need to be collected from the different different locations. So what you do? We will collect the first component from the one location, then second com component to the second location. So you need to then consolidate that. Okay, you need to uh, uh, arrange this consolidation means that mix this in the one shipment. Okay, not for that uh, different two type of vehicle to be used for that. You can consolidate. Then distribution. Okay, distribution also need to understand uh, how to manage this distribution service provider. Then expanding, expanding, diversion and transloading. Okay, these are the very important function of the international logistic. Okay, like a distribution after the uh the consolidation the distribution need to be arranged okay expanding and diversion and transporting okay so these are the handling function okay now next one is the administrations fifth number is administrative functions order management document preparation custom clearance invoicing inventory management performance evaluation and information service and communications okay so this is the uh, entire order processing process where uh, order is executed just like a yeah. so first we have order management once you receive order you need to arrange the product and dispatch okay then after dispatching you need to prepare the documentation okay after documentation the this custom clearance need to be done in the seaport or airport or icd then invoicing okay invoicing is the before custom clearance okay then inventory management inventory management need to done right way then very important step performance evaluation this is also part of the nowadays international logistic part in which performance need to be evaluated okay how they will evaluate that performance is uh, evaluating that with just like a timeline given by the, the customer that in, in this state this product need to deliver okay if you're not delivering this product in right hand that it will be wrong feedback from the customer satisfaction side okay so here need to keep in mind the whole entire uh, the process need to be monitored in right way information and service okay so guys uh, information service and communication is also the part of the administrations okay so today we have got five point in the next session we will call balance five uh, three point also so guys uh, to keep in mind that video should not be uh, long so we just uh, discontinuing this session and we will recover this uh, balance activity in the next session so guys thanks for watching the session have a nice day